Mia and today we're gonna go over how to create this doll. This doll was made with fabric and it even has a back side to the doll. And this is one of the Prima dolls. This is the Riley. And let me show you what you're gonna need. You are gonna need some fabric. So I have this fabric that's been treated with a stiffener. So what you do is you take a stiffener and this, you don't have to dilute it or anything, is ready to use. Just put it on your fabric and let it dry for at least 24 hours so it becomes nice and stiff. And the reason why I use the stiffener is because I want to make sure that I get a good impression and I want it a little stiff. I have not tried it without the stiffener, but I don't know how that will work. So um, that's what I did. And then for the back, what I did is once I have stamp this and color this. I fold over the fabric in half. I pinned it with some pins and then I just cut around it. And after I cut it out, I took some batting and, um, and I um, sandwiched the batting between the dolls. I did use some fabric tack. And then what I did is I have a light box. I traced out the, the back and then I colored it. So you can hardly see that it was traced out. I mean it looks almost the exact um, from the other side. Okay so I'm going to show you how to do that. So this time I'm going to I'm going to make Olivia. So this is one of her new Prima dolls or one of the old ones from last year. She has a set of new ones coming out and actually if you go to photobella.com you can you can pre-order all of her new Prima dolls and I got I pre-order all of mine they should be coming in in February so I'll have a video on the new Prima dolls I also pre-ordered the um, the ones with the die cuts so I'll show you that and um, once I get them in okay so once you have your doll so I'm gonna go ahead and place her down I'm going to take some archival ink and I'll put the link on the video. I did do a video evaluating archival ink versus stays on versus a bunch of other different inks um, and I have the video and you can watch that. But I am falling in love with the archival ink. I really really like this ink for multimedia so um, that's the one I'm using. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and there I have a nice impression of the doll. And then if it does, mine smerged, merged a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to go over it with my marker after I color it and it's going to be fine. No worries. And also, if you like this craft mat, I made this craft mat and I'll put the link of the tutorial how to make this craft mat, but I really am enjoying it. It really works very well for stamping and mixed media. Okay, so the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to take my watercolor paints. And actually, I got these new paints, water-soluble wax pastels. I'm going to use this. And also, I got this one, which is watercolor crayons with brush. And I'm going to use that. So what I've been doing is I've been taking my watercolor um, crayons and I like this peachy color so I'm using the peachy color on her skin so you're gonna take your crayons or whatever watercolor you have or, or paints that you have and you just color in the doll and then because I'm using watercolor paint, I'm going to use a little bit of water, trying not to wet my doll too much because the color will weak into the non-stamp area. And I don't really want that. I want the color to remain within the black outline of my doll. And then notice that um, how I'm shading is I'm putting some darker color on the edges and then blending it in with my watercolor or with my paintbrush and just putting that and I really like now these these watercolor pastels or crayons 
they weren't that expensive. Actually, I, I, I was able to purchase one set, the, the green box one or the smaller one, the smaller set. And I was able to purchase that at Hobby Lobby with my 40% coupon. And then the larger set, I purchased that one at Michael's. And I also used a 40% coupon. So for the cheeks, you just put a little bit of pink and then blend that in. And then I'm blending in a little bit of white. And then um, just drying it with my heat gun, making sure that everything is nice and dry. Turn it over and make sure that you dry the back side of your doll as well. The last thing that you need to do is you need to um, go over it with your marker and redraw the outline because when you do use the watercolor paints, that dark outline kind of fades in a little bit. So by, by going over with my marker, I really make the, the outline of my doll stand out and then dry that as well. So I'm going to cut cut the doll and now I'm ready to pin it together and draw the back of my doll. Now that we traced her out, so now we need to get our, um, we're going to go ahead and trace the back of our doll. I'm going to turn on the light and see how you can trace the back. And just go with your pen and trace the doll. So when you trace your doll, when you get to the hairline, make sure that you um, create a pseudo hairline in the back. Notice that I've just kind of pretending that her hair was long and that it fell um longer in the back as you can see there so there's our back then we're going to make sure and turn it back on because i want to make sure when i pin it because we're going to cut it i'm going to make sure that it doesn't move as I cut the doll out. So I have it all nicely pinned and then take some good pair of scissors and cut the doll out. So you're going to cut the doll making sure that you don't move it too much and in here I made a mistake that I'm starting from the back but actually you should cut the doll from the front because you already have that all colored and outlined and you want to make sure that you don't cut inside of the outline. You want to make sure you cut outside of that outline. Okay, so here's my doll cut out. Now let's go ahead and take some batting. So I am going to turn over my doll. And put a lot of this glue. So you're going to put a generous amount of the fabric glue. Um, I don't know if I recommend using hot glue. Um, I The fabric glue works very well for me. And then are you going to do the same thing on the back of your doll? Now you want to use your, you need a, a light or something to make sure that you are aligning it correctly with the front. And then I'm just then I'm going to take this time to color the back of the doll. And doing the same thing I did with the front, you're just going to take your color pastels, you're going to do a little bit of shading, and then take your water, your water color, I mean your water and your, and your paintbrush, and just blend all the colors in, making sure that it doesn't bleed out. So don't use a lot of water, just enough to blend the colors, but not as much to make it bleed. Because of course you're using fabric right here, so it will bleed out. And then I'm cutting off the excess batting and just cutting the outline. 
and it doesn't have to be perfect because as you can see there I pull so you can pull some of the batting off um, the, the one that's closer to the edge or to an area that is hard to cut you can always just pull that off and it'll work fine Okay, and this is still a little wet, so it's still flexible, but once it dries, it dries very stiff like this. So here are my dolls, and you can even work a little better. You can go over it again with your marker. So here are both of my dolls. And then both of them have a back to it. Okay, so now I want to create some angel rings for my dolls. So first I got to prep the fabric. So I have this sheer white fabric, silk white fabric. And we're going to have to prep it. So what I do is I put some of this stiffing fabric stiffener. And just make sure I soak the fabric with this stiffener. You're going to let, let this soak for 24 hours and then we'll come back and stamp and you're going to need a little more batting. I think I'm going to put batting in between this as well and we'll come back and stamp it and finish off our wings. I don't think I'm going to color the wings. Maybe I will color a little bit of, with blue. I'm not sure yet but let this dry. We'll be back and finish the wings so now it's nice and dry it has that see how stiff it is with that stiffener let me bring you over a little more okay and then what I did off camera just put a little bit of glue and some glitter on her shoes and on the back did the same thing here glitter on the shoes and I also have a stamp, a bow stamp, so I went ahead and created two bows. That's going to be, I'm going to play, once it dries, I'm going to place this on the back like that. And then I made another one. This one is red. Still drying. It's kind of wet. So I'll put that on the back of my dolls. So now I am going to create the wings. And I'm going to use my Icarvo ink. Sure, I ink it up very well. And because it's not that big, the wings are not that large, I will go ahead and stamp it using my, my block. You're going to need a set of four wings, two right wings and two left wings to create a set for each of your dolls. And then I went ahead and stamped some extra ones just to have for later, for later use. So here I'm cutting them out and I am going to put a little bit of batting between each of the wings, making sure I put enough of that tacky glue or the fabric tack glue so that way it will stay put and I did the same thing for the other wing and then after I placed them down I I let them dry for overnight and then I cut them out so here I'm just cutting out the wings and then once I cut it out I went ahead and decided that I wanted a little bit of white watered down white acrylic paint just to highlight the wings and also I went over with some blue watercolor medium to kind of highlight the tops of the wings and I finished it off with some glitter glue okay I was playing a little bit more with my wings so I went ahead and put some um, blue a little bit of watercolor medium on top blue and then I decided I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of 
glitter just faintly not a lot like that see how it sparkles it really sparkles look at that one I'm gonna do the same thing putting a little bit of glitter glue just spreading that out and then sprinkle a little bit of um, glitter and by the way if you haven't seen this what I, I buy just regular salt shakers and then I put I buy real fine glitter and just put it in here because you don't waste that much you don't have to open it just sprinkle a little bit and that's pretty much it so we're gonna let this dry I and I'll need to do the same thing on the other side once the front dries and then we'll figure out how to put it on the doll I gotta figure out how I'm gonna place it on the doll and I'm not sure if I'm gonna glue it or sew it not sure yet but let me let this dry and so now that I let I let it dry overnight, so it's actually it's been 24 hours since I put the glitter, the glue, and the glitter on each of the wings, and I went over with a fine tip marker, so that way I put back the outlines on there, same as here, on all my wings, and then I was playing with some of this top coat um, nail polish. And I put a little bit on the doll, on the hair, so you can see a little sparkly there. And I put some on the dress. And then basically what I wanted to use that is to seal in my glitter on my shoe. Because I see now it doesn't come off. Earlier when I did like that, it was coming off a little bit. Now when you do place some of this um, nail polish, it doesn't come off. So that's perfect. So if you want a, a tip... And when you put glitter on on some something that it's not needs to be acid free, then you can use some nail polish on top, and it will seal it. It will also a glossy accent would do the same thing, but I don't have any glossy accents, so I decided to use that. I went ahead and finished my bow, so there's my bow. And let me show you the stamp because I found that stamp um, yesterday. It was on sale at Joanne's. So I found this stamp and it has even eyes in there, it has glasses. I was thinking about doing one of the bigger Prima dolls and using the glasses. Uh, um, for this one, let's open it. You know, it might be cute to use this for glasses. Look how cute that will look. You know, you can make sunglasses or something like that for your Prima dolls. Even though it's it's huge, it still it will work. And then these little eyes. I was thinking about using those there, but for this the fa the eyes are a little too big for the, this doll, so that's why I didn't use it. But if you are going to create some mixed media dolls, you can go ahead and design the head so it will accommodate those big eyes or these eyes and also the glasses. So that's what I found and that's what I, I use this bow this bow was what I used to create those so I stamped it on the fabric cut it out paint it and then glitter gl did some glimmer um, some glitter on top so let's go ahead and put it together so I decided to use hot glue I did not want to sew it you can sew it but I did not want to sew it because um, I didn't want any stitch line on this side. I didn't want to put a brad because, again, I just didn't feel like a brad would look nice on the shoulder. So I am going to go ahead and glue it. I think it will look nice like that. See how you see it? I think that looks very nice. So... Put some glue there. Okay. 
I think that looks just nice, fabulous. I think I put a little too much glue on this side, so I'm just going to pull some excess off. And then for the bow, I think I'll put the bow right there. So now I put the bow. So see how cute that looks? I think it came out adorable. It's very sturdy. So now we're going to do the same thing for my other doll. Now this one I went ahead and put a coat of my nail polish, clear nail polish throughout the whole doll. So see how nice. And it's nice and sturdy also. I think I like the way the wings look. So you can put the wings up. Maybe for this one I'll put the wings up. I think I like it this way. Put the wings up. I think that looks good. Make sure to get rid of the excess and be careful not to burn yourself like I just did you know I bought these little finger daubers um, a, a, a viewer commented that they had some finger daubers and I went and got them and I keep forgetting to use them so I'm always burning my fingers anyhow and then I'm gonna put the bow I think right there maybe I'll put it on the wings itself like that there that's cute so this these are my prima dolls so another take on using your prima doll fabric batting some glue and some paint and that's pretty much what you need to create these wonderful little dolls and then you can you know I made some extra ones and I will cut these out and I can use these on layout. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.